We're all about facts, not fear. This time you got it right. I did. I Yesterday was ready. he just goes fiction uh, and providing information to keep you and your loved ones safe. Two of the biggest college sports conferences, Big Ten Buckeyes. and Go Blue and Pac-12 voted to postpone this fall's football season along with other sports after some players were diagnosed with a rare and potentially fatal heart condition that's actually brought on by complications from COVID. So our medical expert is here in what I would say is a beautiful magenta. Dr. Pyle Coley joins us live. What is this doc? What is this heart condition and how does it relate to COVID-19? So Tori, the heart condition is called viral myocarditis, and it's not actually a new condition. It's been around for decades, and it's essentially inflammation of the myocardium or the muscular part of the heart that can occur after a viral infection. We can see this with any type of viral infection. Sometimes we see it after infections like mononucleosis, mono caused by Epstein-Barr virus. But what's different with COVID is that it appears to be occurring with a higher frequency than we would expect. So normally it occurs about one to 5% of the time, which is pretty rare, but with COVID, we're seeing it much more commonly. And the reason for that, we think, is because of two reasons. One, the, the virus has receptors on the heart muscle itself, so it mm. could be causing direct damage to the heart muscle. And then the second, we've talked about this before, it kicks the immune system into overdrive, so the immune system could actually be attacking the heart muscle itself. Mm. And unfortunately, the consequence of this inflammation is that it create scar tissue in the heart, which can then cause electrical problems or arrhythmias to occur, which is especially problematic for athletes because they're prone to that when they're out on the field and their right. sympathetic system is charged up, their stress hormones are released, they could have a sudden cardiac arrest. Wow. Oh, what happened to the silver lining segment of this? <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, <laughs> Doc, uh, you know, the, the Big Ten Conference says that there's just too much medical uncertainty about the medical risks to proceed with the season. Uh, why did they say that? Al, they said that for many reasons. The first is that athletes are more prone to viral myocarditis. So you have a group of people that's higher risk because they're more prone. And what I just talked about, this risk of sudden cardiac death. The second is we don't know what the long-term consequences of myocarditis from this virus are. Mm -hmm. You know, is it safe to allow these athletes co to go back to play? We just don't know the answer to that. And then the third is these athletes don't actually declare themselves. So. People get the virus, they recover, and they're seemingly normal. And unless you do a test on them, like a blood test, looking for damage to the heart muscle or a cardiac MRI looking at their heart, you may never know that they had this complication. Wow, mm. this is so important to know. Now they're saying that they'll look towards resuming sports in the spring, but if COVID is still around, what kind of test could be used to see if it's safe to return to play? Would it just be a blood test? Well, we do have to get back on our feet and get beyond this virus, Tori. So a lot of experts have gotten together and developed a number of screening criteria, which if you check off all these boxes, maybe it's safe to return to play. So the first is a history. So talk to the person after they've recovered from COVID and see do they have any symptoms that suggest damage to the heart, shortness of breath, swelling in the legs, chest pain, palpitations, any red flags there. The second is an EKG, which is an electrocardiogram that looks at the electricity through the heart, looks for those arrhythmias that we just talked about. The third is the blood test, as you mentioned, the troponin, which looks for damage. It's a chemical that tells us about damage to mm. the heart muscle. So if that's high, that tells you you may have had some damage from the virus. And then the final is an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart that tells us about the structure and function. So for these athletes, they really have to check all these boxes before we think they might be safe to return to play, even after they've recovered from COVID and are seemingly normal. Wow. Look, I went to Michigan. I love the Big Ten. I love you love college football, but this is something we need to take very, very seriously. Thank you so much, Magenta. Uh, Doc, I was you, planning to go back and play this season, too. You were? Were you quarterback? Yeah, I was going to be a quarterback. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That's not true. You will be back tomorrow. If you have a question about coronavirus you want answered by Dr. Coley, write us on social media. You can also email info at dailyblastlive.com. Again, we are not trying to panic you with this news, just prevention, precautions, and knowledge, right? Because knowledge is... Uh, what do we, run DMC? Why do you keep throwing it over to me? Just read the... <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what are you doing?